Hey all you man, so skinnies, this is Conman101 and before I start the video I just want to say I'm really sorry about missing the video yesterday. Uh, let's just sum it up by saying I'm an idiot. So I thought the Twins Fest was yesterday, but it turns out it's next week. It's the 29th instead of the 22nd, which means that I was like a week off. So I'm really sorry, I didn't have anything planned, which meant I didn't have a video, I even an idea for a video yesterday for you guys, so I'm very sorry about that. It's, again, really sorry for that. So, I'm trying to make up for it with uh, four videos this week, even though that's what I should be doing in the first place, but I should hopefully get four videos out. I'm like the only person home right now, so I should have enough time to, you know, get a good deal of videos out. Maybe I'll even get five out. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get to the video. So it's in 8th grade that the story is taking place, uh, it's called Why I Love Paper Shredders. It may, it may not make much sense right now, but just pay attention to the end of the video and it'll make sense. So there's this uh, friend of mine named Ethan, and he, let's just say, let's just put it this way, sometimes he gets into trouble. He gets in trouble a lot, actually, uh, and some of it, most of it, is self-inflicted. Like, he, he's got to admit that he does a lot of things, you know, to get him in trouble, but some sometimes he's really unlucky and he gets in trouble even when he's not supposed to. So there's this one teacher in my 8th uh, grade class named Mr. Yeager, and he taught science, and he's an awesome teacher. He's hilarious, and he, he tells, like, hilarious stories, and he tells jokes all hour and stuff. He's one of those teachers, like the fun teachers, and... For some reason, for whatever reason, he hated Ethan. Like, he, he had some sort of grudge against Ethan, so he was going to try to get him in trouble as much as possible. At least that's how it seemed. So there are these instances where Ethan would do nothing wrong, and everyone else would do something wrong, and Ethan would get in trouble for it. Like, there was this one time in Homeroom, like, all my the rest of my friends were, like, literally throwing markers at him like trying to hit it trying to hit him and Mr. Yeager came over and sent Ethan to the principal's office like oh my gosh what is going on so that's kind of the basis for the story uh, I guess it actually doesn't have much correlation to the story but I guess it's just a little bonus for you guys so uh, Ethan had a planner and uh, based on what you know about his character so far he didn't use that planner uh, and Espen, my other friend, would like to uh, play tricks on him because even when you don't use the planner, you still need the uh, barcode uh, in it uh, in order to uh, go to the library and get books. So Espen would continue to take it from him like time after time after time, and he would he would put him in these like hilarious places. Like one time he uh, where did he put him? He put him like in one of the high shelves of one of the uh, teachers' rooms. He uh, he actually put it in Ethan's backpack, and it took him forever to find it, because of course he never expected it to be, in, to be in there. And there's all these hilarious places he would put them. So hold on to your hats, because this is when the story really takes off and gets hilarious. So, 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 so. Ethan was getting so tired of Espen taking his planner that he got a new one. He got, I don't think, I'm not sure if he got a new planner or if he just got a new barcode, uh, but... I think he got a whole new planner, and he he gave the other one to Espen, since he liked it so much, and he said, okay, th this is a very important quote, so, he said, do what you want with it, I don't care. That's a very important quote later on, so, never tell Espen that he can do whatever he wants with something, because he will destroy it. Like, if you give him a calculator and say, do whatever you want with it, he will take it apart piece by piece. He's... He's a person who likes to, like, you know, put stuff together and fix stuff and, you know, take stuff apart again. So this is why I love paper shredders. So what happened was he took the planer home, trying to figure out what he was going to do with it. And then he looked at the paper shredder and he was like, that's a good idea. So 
he shredded it page by page like at least 200 pages in this planner and he he shredded it page by page and had all the paper clippings so he put the paper clippings in a plastic bag and then he brought it to school the next day and put it in Ethan's uh, locker. And so Ethan came to school the next day, opened his locker and looked inside. He turned to Espen and he was like, is that the best you can do? Like he was, he was acting like he wasn't, uh, he wasn't impressed by it. Cause it was just a, you know, plastic bag with paper shreddings in it. So after school that day, he went inside the locker and he opened the bag And he, he dumped all of it in the bottom of Ethan's locker. I'm trying to tell the story without laughing. He just took the whole thing out and dumped 200 pages worth of shredded paper into the bottom of his locker. And so Ethan came home, Ethan went uh, into his locker during homeroom the next day. And I was just making my way over there because uh, my other friend Hayden and I would usually skip our homeroom and go to Jaeger's homeroom because that's where the fun's at and so we didn't see this happening but we saw the aftermath so Ethan was like really mad at Espen and so he took he decided that it was a great idea to take the shredded pieces of uh, a planner paper and throw them at Espen so he took all this the, the 200 pages worth of shredded paper threw them at Espen and then boom, it just started snowing everywhere. Like the entire, this, that entire section of the hallway was covered. And I, and it was the funniest thing because I didn't see that happening, but I went, I came around the corner with Hayden and it was just like an entire sea of paper. Like it was like at least 10 feet of the hallway, like completely covered. You couldn't even see the carpet. And then you see Ethan in the corner with Mr. Jaeger, and Jaeger's yelling at him. And of course, Espen didn't get in trouble at all. And Ethan got in school suspension for like two or three days. I'm sorry, Ethan, you get, you get such a bad rap. I mean, you can't blame him though, because... I mean, you gotta admit it, when... When a kid is a troublemaker and does so many things wrong... You kind of get stereotype. It's kind of like a stereotype. You're you're going to get him in trouble more because you're kind of expecting that whenever something does happen, it's him that's behind it. So, I have so many uh, eighth grade stories. Oh my gosh, this this is back when all my friends had all the same classes because like the honor there's like pretty much one solid honor group like in all the honors classes that would kind of stay in like a rotation. So we'd all be in the same classes. Uh, and gosh, we have so many good stories. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make this a new segment. I think it's gonna be pretty fun to to tell these stories. But thank you guys so much for uh, for watching this episode of Story Time. Uh, I, I might do this once a week, maybe if I have enough stories later on. We'll have to see. Uh, but again, I'm very sorry for missing yesterday's video. I'm mean, gonna hope to get four videos out this week, maybe five if I'm lucky. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.